tanks are pressurized to ensure that as the fuels deplete, they are forced down for, to assure an even flow into the engine. Fuel tanks are now being pressurized. The S4B, or third stage liquid oxygen tank, has just been pressurized, and the second stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized. As we move down through the count at the T minus 17 second mark, we'll get a release of the guidance system in the instrument unit. Also handled by the automatic sequencer will be the release of swing arms number one and number two. The ignition of the Saturn V five engines, the first stage five engines, will take place at 8.9 seconds in the countdown, 8.9 seconds. They'll be, the engines will, or the vehicle will then be held down <coughs> until we build up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust. At the T-minus three minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. Spacecraft now to full internal cooling. The cooling load has been shared with a ground cooling. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. At T-minus 1 minute 15 seconds, the spacecraft batteries will be turned on for launch. These batteries will give an additional power source to the spacecraft as well as be acting as a backup for the fuel cells. The third stage liquid hydrogen tanks now uh, pressurized. All third stage tanks pressurized. Second stage tanks also pressurized. T minus one minute, T minus one minute and counting. Now moving into the final minute of the count. We'll be standing by to for the switch over to internal power. Switch over taking place at this time going on internal power. T minus 45 seconds and counting. Guidance aligned just announced by John Young. That will be the last action taken by the crew aboard the spacecraft. T minus 35 and counting. Countdown continuing to go well. T minus 30. T minus 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Guidance release. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engine's now building up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust. We have a launch commit and we have a liftoff. The swing arm moving back. The Saturn V lifting off the power. Alpha pad building up thrust. We clear the tower. Houston is now controlling. Oh, yeah, good press now five. Roger. Engine roll program started. Good. Roger. 16 now maneuvering to its proper uh, flight path attitude. Mark 27 seconds. Adjusting now from sea level to a space environment, two nautical miles in altitude. Standby, one Bravo. Roger, one, one Bravo. Okay. You're wet now, 16. Roger, Bravo, one Bravo. That call up from Capcom, Gordon Fullerton says Apollo 16 now capable of water landing. Mark, one minute, 12 seconds coming up on period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, 22 seconds, six nautical miles in altitude, looking good. Mark, one minute, 30 seconds, eight nautical miles in altitude. Mark, one minute, 41 seconds. Pass through Max Q, still looking good. Get through Max Q and everything looks good. 16 now, 12.5 nautical miles in altitude. Young Duke Mattingly moving out to the outer traces of the Earth's atmosphere. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Roger, we're mark one, Charlie. Mark two minutes, three seconds of status check and mission control by Flight Director Gene Kranz. A go, no go for staging. Coming up on center engine shutdown. 
Victor inboard, you're go for staging. Center engine shut down on time. Two minutes, 28 seconds, 26 nautical miles in altitude, 32 nautical miles downrange. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds, coming up on staging. Seconds and almost staging. Your young Duke Mattingly now riding on five good second stage engines. Go on all five on the S2. Three minutes, two seconds. The giant first stage falling away now. It's a day's work completed. Apollo 16 now 46 nautical miles in altitude, 80 nautical miles downrange. Coming up on skirt step and uh, tower jettison. Roger. Roger, and uh, we confirm your skirt set, your mode two now. Roger, mode two. Three minutes, 28 seconds. The launch escape tower is ejected on time. It's a surveillance rule no longer required. Steering is converged, uh, CMC is go. Roger. Mark, three minutes, 45 seconds. Apollo 16, now 62 nautical miles in altitude, 135 nautical miles downrange. Apollo 16, now 33 feet shorter and 9,000 pounds lighter. Unencumbered now for its mission in space. 16, you still have four minutes. Everything looks great down here. Everything looks good up here, too. Hey, Cody, you ought to see that horizon. Just gorgeous.